Hi guys, I'm back with another fun look. This one is really, really bold. Uh, I was inspired by a recent post by Cora, who is known here on YouTube as Vintage or Tacky. She did a look um, kind of in tribute to the Max Peacocky collection that recently came out, and I just loved her look. It had all kinds of black um, liquid liner that was meant to look like feathers and it was super dramatic and artistic and amazing and it really inspired me. I basically just wanted to do something not quite as um, insane like you could, I mean yeah it's really bright, but you could get away with wearing this out um, especially if you're going to a club, if you're being peacock for Halloween. Um, someone told me it would be really awesome rave makeup so do whatever you gotta do. So yeah, I hope this is helpful to some of you. I'm gonna kind of zoom in and insert some photos hopefully so we can see what this look looks like up close. And just stay watching to see how I did all this. I did use my 120 palette from BH Cosmetics. And let me just kind of open this up so you guys can see. This is the first layer here. I love, love, love this palette. I can do a review on it if you guys want. I know there's already a lot of reviews for it on YouTube. This is the first edition. I thought it had the most basic colors, so I just went with the first. So this is the side of the palette I'm going to use. And I know these colors probably look a little washed out, but just so you get an idea of where they are, this is the yellow I will be using. This is the green I will be using. All the way down here on the bottom, that's the first blue, the deeper blue, and the extra dark, almost purple blue. So those are the five colors I'm going to be using. Yellow, green, one, two, three. And literally in that order. So um, we will also, on the other side of the palette, we will also be using this top kind of shimmery brown color. There you go. And that's the only color from this side of the palette. First thing we're going to do is pick up some of that yellow color on our brush and we're going to be placing it on our inner corner here. You're going to bring it down a little bit because we want to use that also as our highlight color. And on up into the first corner or quadrant of our eye. Now I just like to wipe off our brush and I'm going to go into the green color a little bit. And we're going to place that right next to the yellow. Bringing it a little less than halfway over. and up just a tiny bit and I just like to keep packing it on a little to kind of build up the color wipe off our brush again and go back into the yellow now and we're gonna sweep that up and over the green the green was kind of more of a matte color so by doing this, we're also going to give it more shimmer. It's also going to be more of an acid green, which is totally what I want. Okay, next we're going to take the lightest of the three blue colors that I was talking about and place that right next to the green, kind of overlapping it a teeny bit. Okay, and just really blend that blue and green together now. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now we're going to go into the darker of the green, the blues, excuse me, the more teal one. We're going to be placing that on the outer corner here and 
we're going to clean up this outer edge here, so don't worry too much about that. Okay, now just blend it a little. And we're going to get our darkest of the blues now and place that over it just to kind of deepen the color a little bit more. Not too much. You can see I don't really have too much on that side. Now wiping off our brush, once again we're going to go back into the lighter blue and just dust it over the other ones, which is the easiest way I've found to blend it all together. Also giving that final blue a tiny bit more shimmer. We're going to take our fluffy blending brush and we're just going to start softening the edges all the way around the blues. Concentrating on the darkest area and moving it forward towards the yellow. Okay, now we're going to go back into our yellow for the final time and place a little bit more on that inner corner. And I like to really kind of drag it up above the green and just let it kind of blend itself out and blend it into the other colors. That looks pretty good. Okay, we're going to go back in now and just do kind of the final touch. I'm going to put on my um, gel liner on the top uh, lash line about halfway till about the end of the blues, I will say. And also some liner on the bottom line until it meets that upper line and I'll be right back okay okay so I've done my liner you can see it goes till about there same with my bottom I also did my waterline um, I already did this I'm not gonna redo it I just forgot to record it but I um, I like to use you know the makeup cleansing cloths and I like to cut a small piece of it off like the corner earthquake We've been having a bunch of earthquakes. There was a really big one earlier, and it's really scary. Still going on just a tiny bit. Okay. So, um, the makeup cleansing cloth, and I just like to cut a little corner off. Sorry, it's dirty. I've already kind of used it for the two eyes that I've done. But I just kind of get a sharp edge on it and I just clean up like that. It also helps me to create a little bit more of a point on my liner. Okay, now we're going to do the final step and with that brown color that I showed you, we're going to get a little bit on a smaller brush and just do it underneath your eyeliner here. Mix it a little with that yellow and I like to sweep it all the way up underneath that straight line I made. Alright. There we go. That's about it. I'm going to go put on, I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to put on my mascara and I will be zoomed out with the final look. I just have to share that my bottom lashes look really freaky right now. They look longer than my top lashes. I don't know what happened, but those are my natural bottom lashes and they look really, really long right now. All I did was put on mascara. I used Lash Discovery by Maybelline because it has a small wand like that. And that's kind of freaky how gigantor my bottom lashes look. Anyways, that's it. Alright, so this is the finished look, and I just wanted to share with you the rest of the products I used. On my cheeks, I used my e.l.f. Um, duo in 
blush and bronzer powder. It's this one here. Oops, I don't want to blind you. There you go. Contour and uh, blush. Then I highlighted with the e.l.f. highlight in Gotta Glow, which is a kind of shimmery golden highlight. And I do have a review for both of those on my channel. You can watch. It's included with my e.l.f. blush review. Then on my lips, I have a great little find. I actually used two different colors and mixed them together. These are Wet n Wild 99 cent lipsticks. Super cheap, super, super, super awesome. Um, the first one I have, which is a little bit more of a deep peach, it's 516C. And it looks like that. It does have some shine to it. And I do have to say these are pretty creamy. I think I'm probably going to do a review and swatches of them pretty soon. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if you think that's a good idea. And the second one is 545A, and it's like this, so just a little bit more toned down. This is a beautiful color to wear on its own. A little bit more matte, less shimmer in that. So I kind of mixed them together, and then I just put a clear lip gloss. This is a really old Victoria... Um, Beauty Rush Minty Lip Shine. So that's it for the products I used on my face. I hope you liked this look. And again, thank you, Cora, for all the inspiration. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks again. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, all of the above. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Bye!